Hi, Katie. Here we are. <laughs> Air style. <laughs> Amazing. So um, I was thinking today that since I made like three beautiful products of the dosha, the kapha, pitta, and vata, I was thinking maybe we'll do a quick talk about what is your dosha. And um, I know I have three of them, but my strong is the pitta, which is the fire. The second one is the vata, which is air. So it's three and two, and kapha is my least. But I think as I'm getting older, my kapha kind of rising. So uh, which kapha is more like the water and the mountain. Uh, you, and you an example of kapha, right? And vata, which is a challenging one to have because it's too extreme. Yes. Yeah. So exactly. just to have your take on the Ayurveda, uh, dosha, body type. And uh, since you are um, an expert of uh, pressure point and marma, and, uh, you know, we've both been practicing for so many years and working together, and we also planning to do a teacher training together and so we have so much to give and this is just a little teaser of uh, and let's just start so dosha is such an interesting thing right because there's a lot of information about it out there and it's really hard to figure out what that means to each of us individually um I feel like some of the quizzes and tests like are not accurate it's hard to kind of answer them correctly or like get really clear information. And so, um, you know, it's helpful when you have a practitioner or someone who's really familiar to kind of help you come to an understanding of what that is. And so there's these three, um, you know, the way I was taught it is there's five elements that combine into three different humors, which are the vata, pitta, and kapha, right? So you have the five elements, space or ether, air, pitta, uh, air, fire, water and earth and these five elements combine in different combinations to make vata pitta kapha which vata is a combination of air and space so like air moving through space pitta so is a yeah and it, the people are taller leaner mm -hmm. uh very much in their head thinkers very creative, very thinker. Uh, it's like, and it really is, everyone has all three of these, right? So your dosha is a combination, your unique combination of these three humors. And so everyone has all three, but in these totally different combinations, and then throughout life, you know, we have different ones that become a little stronger than others. And whether, and when we have different imbalances, our body type and shifts and changes. So our innate nature, from when we're born changes throughout life because we're constantly dealing with the change of those elements in our environment. And so learning, learning how to understand what our innate nature is, what our current imbalances that we're working with, then we can kind of use like things like your oils and acupressure and diet and lifestyle to bring ourselves as close. Yeah, exactly. As close to our balance and our nature as possible. So that, that uh, more extensive information about our dosha we're going to do in a more of a mini workshop. But right now, we just want to have like a little taste. So we have the vata. Now we're going to go into pitta, which is the fire. Pitta, it's, the, it's fire but, and water. Yeah. More it's, it's, it's the comp. Pitta is liquid heat. It's our, um, it's that fiery, passionate independent kind of energy, right? It's this very proactive energy. It's that energy in us that likes to take action. It's very athletic build, strong muscular nature, and it's definitely has a lot of heat, right? There's so much heat that comes with that. And then kapha is that combination of earth and water, which is very stable and steady and compassionate. It's really the thing that holds the space it's our structure that holds the space for that pitta and vata energy to, you know, do its thing. For, to partner with is uh, kapha people for pitta people. <laughs> yeah, we need a little bit of the sweetness for that fire. <laughs> Otherwise it gets out of control. <laughs> yeah, and there's so, there's, so, I mean, we can go on forever. There's so much interesting information about these, you know, the system and how, how it applies to us individually, how it applies to our environment, how 
you know, how we can use it to, you know, work with imbalances or issues that we're having in our bodies or in our minds and our digestive system, you know, so yeah, it's really fun. It's good yeah. stuff to do. For the Vata people, I love to give them the hair oil so they can massage their head and put uh, the shiradara on the forehead, the hot warm oil in my hair oil, because for me, it was all about bringing the Vata, the energy of the anxiety and thinking down and you use your fingertip and massage in your head. Um, the, you know, the rejuvenate oil is a kapha. I put a little bit of a lavender, made it a little bit sweet. Uh, and the um, for the Vata, I gave them you know, the, the rose, because I felt like they need more of the heart. Uh, and for the pitta, you know, sandalwood, who, who doesn't like the sandalwood? So I give that. And I also love it because I have it in my belly oil, which is the massage. And it's super important for pitta people because they are digesting the thoughts in the belly mm -hmm. to have that belly massage. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So a lot of their herbs are, um, you know, according to the Ayurveda and how important it is, because that's for me is how can we balance is through the Abhyanga, the self oil massages and through the food and spices to reduce some of the inflammation and acidity, like for pitta, mm -hmm. more cool. We always talk about yogurt and cucumber for, you know, for a mint for people who have a little bit more of a fire energy. And uh, so that's more pita. The, the vata, I'm not sure what we would give them. Maybe you have a little bit of a thought. <laughs> well, food, food wise, grounding, right? So having more proteins and, and really good fats are really important for the vata because the vata is the nervous system, right? So anything that's going to ground and nourish the nervous system is going to be really important. And then for kapha, having things that will enliven and inspire, right? So you're going to have you know, a little bit of, you know, different kinds of tastes in there, lemon and lime and, and things that are going to inspire and, and, um, energize. Right. So a little bigger for the kapha. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just <hear> right here. <laughs> awesome. Good. So we'll, we'll do a workshop. They're going to be more extensive for the Vata Pita Kapha. And this is just a little teaser. And uh, yeah, I mean, that was great. Uh, and, and, and there is, uh, you know, you can go and, um, you know, on, online and find what's your dosha. It's super easy, but really a vad, Vadya, which is a doctor of Ayurveda would actually diagnose you through your pulse, mm -hmm. which is super cool. Yes, you can definitely, I mean, they're very incredible to have that experience. And the tradition I studied is a visual diagnosis. So we look at the body type, visually, because in a warrior tradition, you're not able to go up to your opponent and check their pulse and look at their tongue. You'd have to be able to size up your opponent as they're coming down the field to you. So we have a little bit of a different system. And some, something that I'm also offering is like a short 10 minute body type assessment. So if that's something you're interested in, you can- What is uh, your website? Yeah. My website is um, brainbellybody.com. And Beautiful. yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming. And uh, you can find this video on YouTube, uh, osliving.com and on my podcast as well on Spotify. So yeah, thank you so much, Katie, to be continued. Looking forward to it. Yeah.